Just a few meanwhile tracking breaking news this morning involving a major disruption of technology all across the world. Computers running Microsoft Windows began crashing late last night. The list of industries impacted including airports, government agencies, major global banks, healthcare and energy companies. The CEO of CrowdStrike says the issue appears to have started with a software update pushed by the cybersecurity firm. He also says the outages were not caused by a security incident or a cyber attack. Now, the company has issued a fix to the problem just before 4 o'clock this morning. Well, the effect of the outage is still being felt at airports with that trickle-down effect from east to west and now hitting Salt Lake City. Emma Riley joining us live from Salt Lake City International Airport with how this is affecting travel for people that are trying to get out of town today, Emma. Yeah, good morning, Lincoln and Brian. It's been a bit of a travel nightmare for a lot of people, especially people who were trying to leave at around 8 o'clock last night. A lot of them spent the night in the terminals. But this is kind of what we've been seeing here all morning. And believe it or not, this is the smallest crowd that we have seen. So they are making progress out here. I know that Delta has resumed a lot of their flights. But this is the case for people across the world today trying to travel. Thousands of flights have been canceled or, de or, or delayed. I spoke with a traveler who got here at 8 o'clock last night. He boarded his flight, was on it for a couple of hours, and then had to deplane. So as you can imagine, it's been really hard for people who were stuck here overnight. But this morning, American Airlines, United, and Delta flights asked for a global ground stop on all flights. But now Delta, like I said, has resumed, and they are offering waivers to a lot of passengers to rebook. The U.S. cybersecurity company CloudStrike is saying that they are responsible, and they say the issue behind the outage wasn't a security incident or a cyber attack. They say the cause has been found and a fix has been deployed. They just don't know how long their systems are going to be down. And as you can see, these crowds are getting a little better here this morning at the airport, but it has been very crowded. So if you do, if you do plan to travel today, I would check with your airline and make sure. But we will continue to provide updates on this situation throughout the morning. Brian and Lincoln. All right, thank you so much, Emma. And our own Jamie McGriff is at Salt Lake City International Airport, and she's actually sent us the pictures from the gates, these pictures right here. You can see passengers sitting on the floor, standing around at the gates. You can also see many of the screens are showing that blue screen, indicating the computer isn't loading correctly.